Welcome back to another video on exporting your uh, raster image to Rhino. Today we're going to cover the exciting part of bringing your imagery into Rhino. In the last two videos we talked mostly in QGIS. Today we'll introduce Rhino as well. The first step is to add points to our raster image. So we'll go to our processing toolbox here in QGIS and I'm going to type raster to pixel and um, you see, you see um, we we'll want to choose the one with a, a little gear here I'm going to choose that guy and um, we're going to choose our resampled image if you want to learn how to resample please go back to the previous video we're going to type uh, as the field name we're going to call it Z because it's going to give us all the Z dimensions and we're going to save our points to a uh, file location on our desktop um, I made a folder already called points and we'll just call that points save and I'm going to hit run okay our points have exported and you'll see that now for every raster uh, pixel we have a point located at its center. So now when we right click onto our vector points, so when we open the attribute table you can see that we have only a singular column, uh, what the one we call Z, but now we need to add XY in order for Rhino to read the document correctly. So we'll go back to our processing toolbox and we'll type X Y and we'll have another gear here add X Y field to layer we're going to select the vector points um, we don't need to add a prefix uh, and we can save um, a new file location again and we'll call that points X Y save and I'm gonna run it again okay so now we have our um, points with an XY field added to it and um, I'll just open this up real quick so you can see that this all worked the way we wanted it to. Okay so here we can see we have a Z, we have an X and a, we have a Y value. I'm gonna close this out and we're gonna export our um, our points now uh, to another file so we'll right click on that layer and hover over export save feature as and um, we want to choose comma separated value and I'm gonna call this again I'm gonna click on the three points here and we'll choose our point layer and points XYZ and I hit save uh, the other information can stay the same and we'll hit OK. Successfully exported so I'll check my folder and here are our XYZ points um, as an Excel sheet. So let's open this real quick in Excel make sure all of our numbers came in correctly. Yes so here we have the correct columns I'm just gonna move this And let's keep it a CSV file in order to um, uh, import a CSV in Rhino. Now that we're in Rhino, I'm going to click on File, Import. And we're going to go to our GIS folder, Points, and select this XYZ Rhino folder. Um, we can choose comma in this, uh, in this case, and we can keep it a point cloud will explode that um, either way afterwards but it just makes it a little faster when we bring it in and want to zoom around we can zoom to select it and what we'll see is that this has come in completely incorrectly and now we might we might give up at this point but hang in there 
there's one simple trick. Just click on top, zoom selected, and in the previous video we set up the, um, the point spacing to be 50 feet by 50 feet. So we want to scale our um, geometry here. Scale 2D. Make sure it's 2D because our Z dimensions are correct. It's, that, it's just that our um, XY units are incorrect. So I'm going to click here, click here, and I will type 50. Zoom selected. And we have something much more clear. If you can kind of see here, that's morning side heights, I think. Is it called morning side heights? Um, and Central Park is right here. There's that. There's that reservoir. Um, so now the last step is to create a surface from these points. So we'll just explode them real quick. So I've opened uh, Grasshopper here, and I'm going to select the point component. And I'm going to search for another component called Delaunay Mesh. And I will assign all my points to this component here. So right click on the, the point component. And it's going to be a little bit slow because uh, we're using 880,000 points. I'm going to set multiple points. And when, once those are loaded, I will just plug in uh, the points into the Delaunay Mesh component. All right, it took a few seconds, but our uh, component loaded. And I will now bake this to a new layer. Finally, I'm going to disable the points. And there we have it. This is our new surface. Let's take a look at it in the, in the render view. I'm just going to create a water plane real quick so we can take a look at and there you have it thanks for watching I hope this has been helpful